Google is not to be outdone. They just dropped Google Flash 2.0 right in the middle of uh, OpenAI's 12 days of OpenAI. It's a brand new model from Google. It's in the Gemini family. It's called Gemini 2.0. You can access it either through their chat or what I recommend is say you're a developer and get into their Google AI studio to access it. Much more powerful stuff in there. In particular, one of the things I'm really excited about is the ability of the system to talk to you while it looks at your screen. And what I found was really interesting is Gemini is a totally different model. And so what I could do is I could say, hey, Gemini, look at my code editor. Look at what I've got here. Look at what I'm building. This is what I'm trying to do. And I could mix in like talking with it. It tolerates interruptions well. It tolerates slang well and putting text in. So I ended up having a five minute conversation with Gemini where I said, this is what I'm trying to do. These are my limitations. This is the text I have thinking about what's going on. What do you think a good prompt would be to get started with Windsurf or with Cursor on a LLM driven landing page? Because that's like a nice vanilla like way to start and see how the interaction modality works. Like you just tell it to, to work on a landing page and see how it does. It did great. It was amazing. I was able to have an actual back and forth conversation that felt really fluent with Gemini. Gemini was able to produce a really good prompt. And then Gemini is able to see and monitor changes that are taking place in my screen as I run the prompt. And you know what was even cooler? Gemini notices proactively when my screen changes. So it was looking at my development environment. And when I ran the command, I didn't tell it anything. It noticed I'd run the command. It looked at the difference. It correctly read it and it said, this is what I noticed. And we continued our conversation. It was literally like a developer was looking over my shoulder and we were having a conversation. And that matches with the test benchmarks we see for Gemini 2.0 it tests really well with coding up there with Sonnet 3.5. So if you're curious about what it looks like when LLMs become part of our conversational interface, part of our workflow, we start to stack them together into composite tool sets that enable new kinds of productivity, I feel like I just saw the future. I can chat with one LLM, have it looking at my screen at what I'm doing with another LLM. We can have a conversation and what it all adds up to is I feel like I'm working with multiple partners on a project, even though it's me and a laptop, and I am going much faster and debugging more easily as a result. So check out Gemini Flash. It's really, really cool. You can find it in the Google AI Studio, or you can get it into the chatbot. I'm going to link the uh, blog post from Google in this YouTube description. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It just dropped a couple hours ago. Would be curious to see what you're using it for. There you go. Very, very exciting. Google introduces Gemini 2.0. I can't wait. This is a, it's a wild week. OpenAI is next. It's like this battle of the heavyweights. Cheers.